looking down through the rosters, it looks like Triton actually has a relatively r young team as well. So it'll be interesting to see the matchup tonight. I know that the uh, Comets had some really good energy walking the halls of the school today and uh, really felt like they were going to put a good showing out here for the home crowd tonight. Comets are lining up to receive first. Once again, have the Sullivan brothers in the back row. And number nine, senior Lucas Cabrera kicking for Triton. And there's the kick, goes high, going deep. And the Comets will just take the touchback. Starting on their own 20. Snap, try to run it up the middle, and the Comets get a hard-fought couple of yards on that play. Does look like number 19, Damian Sullivan, is back in the quarterback position, uh, replacing a an injured Landon Schaefer for this week. Sam Smith with that yardage gain. Snap. Quarterback keeper on that play. Looks like no change in yards. Comments now third and six on their own 24. There's the snap. A flick back to Smith. Smith tries to go outside and goes down hard at the 24. Comments now fourth and six on their own 24. And there's a snap. Smith to punt. Rolls across the 50. And rolls dead at Triton's 40 yard line. And Trojans take over with only two minutes gone off the clock. There's a handoff. It's a carry by number four, Hunter McIntyre. Goes right, 
Gains about five yards on the play. Trojans now two and five on their own 45 yard line. There's your snap. Handoff to go right up the middle there to number 22, Anthony Shue. No gain on the play. Excuse me, that was 32, Trace Shue. There's a snap, we're gonna go left. And a gain of 10 yards on the play. That was McIntyre on the carry. There's a snap. We're going to hand off, head to the right. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage by number seven. That's Grant Hickel. Snap, handoff to number four. Hunter McIntyre finally stopped at the Comets 30 yard line. Garrison Hickel with the shoestring tackle there. Trojans now with a new set of downs. All right, I apologize for those technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Trojans now, third and eight on their own 32. snap we're going to flick it over to McIntyre who heads out to the left gets a first down on 
Damian Sullivan on that tackle. Trojans first and ten on the Comets 18. And Triton with a timeout.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the many technical glitches we had that took us off air for a moment. Three or two minutes into the second, the score is still tied zero to zero. Comments repeating third down. Uh, possession of the ball at the 32 yard line. Comments at third and five. And it would help uh, if I was watching the right game out on the field. <laughs> that was Trojan's ball. Caden Webb with that tackle. Apologize about all that. Trojans on their own 34-yard line. Read the field wrong. That'll happen in time or two. There's the long snap and the punt. Punt goes deep, is caught by Sullivan. Sullivan fighting for it, ends up going down at the Comets 35 yard line. There's your snap, hand off to Sam Smith. He goes up the middle and gets taken back by about three of the Trojans line. He may have picked up a couple on that. Comets second down on their own 38 yard line. And we've got a quarterback keeper there wrapped up by about five Trojans. Looking at the down marker, it looks like the uh, Comets may have given up a yard on that play. Man, there's a snap. Fumble on the snap. We have to see who comes up with that. And uh, Hickle managed to cover that up. Comets now fourth and eight on their own 38. Lining up for the punt. Sam Smith with the punt. Good catch by the Trojans on the 30 yard line. A gain of about five after the catch. Clean tackle there by Rockwolf. And the Trojans will take over on their own 36. 6.52 remaining in the half. Score still sitting at zero all.
Here's the snap. Football up the middle. We've got Sullivan, Rock Wolf, and uh, Kane Shanelob on that tackle. Took all three of them to take down uh, number 32, Trey Shu. Ball now on the Comets, 45. Hand off to 32, Trey Shu Stopped with a gain of about a yard. Garrison Hickel with that tackle. Caden Webb with an assist. Fake handoff to uh, Shu, and very nearly an interception on that pass. Evan Howard had his hand on it, just couldn't bring it down into the bread basket. Trojans now third and nine on the Comets' uh, 44 yard line. Number nine in motion. Fake handoff, number four with it. Tackled by a shoelaces by number five, Sam Smith. That's Hunter McIntyre. He was getting ready to uh, get a good head of steam going, I think. Managed a gain of about three. And number 39 for the Trojans back in a punt formation. Good catch by number nine, Sullivan. He's going out to the left side. He's across the 50. He's getting some distance. And he goes all the way, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful kickoff return there by number nine. Excuse me, 19. I was like, I know that's Sullivan. <laughs> and Comets drawing first blood with 423 left in the half. Score now sits at 6 nothing Comets. And the comments are discussing what they're gonna do for extra point attempt. And comments lining up for two. There's a snap. And number seven, Grant Hickel, tackled at the line of scrimmage. Score now, 6-0 Comets, 4.23 left in the half. And the Comets will line up to kick off.
Jesse Rock Wolf to kick for the Comets. And the kick is up. Heads deep. Good catch by the Trojans. And number 21 heading up the middle. Gets wrapped up. And he'll go down around the Trojans 32 yard line. Grant Hegel with the tackle. Faked handoff, handoff goes to number four, McIntyre. Tackled at the Trojans 39 yard line. Sam Smith with the tackle. Trojans now second and five. Hand off to number 32. And tackled about the 40-yard line by number five, Sam Smith. That was Trey Shue with that carry. Gain of about three. Trojans. Third down, one to go. Looking to tie it up or take the lead in the next three minutes. And the Comets will call a timeout. 303 left at the half. And the Comets up by a touchdown. And a fumble on the snap, covered up by number four, Trey McIntyre. Or excuse me, Hunter McIntyre. Trojans now, fourth and four, on their own 40 yard line. There's a snap. Hand off to Shue. And that's 32. Trace Shue with the carry. And the chain gang will move. A new set of downs for the Trojans on their own 44 yard line. Just over two minutes left to play in this half. There's a snap. Fake handoff. Quarterback goes back. Lobs it up. I think the referee's calling the pass incomplete. 
Yes. Trojans now, two and ten. flag on that and we had a false start on the Trojans they'll give up five yards repeat second down Trojans now two and 15 ball on their 39 yard line There's a snap, quarterback looking for a pass. It's up, it's deep, and pass is incomplete. Pass intended for number 24, Cole Irving. Trojans now, third down, 15 to go. Ball remains on their own 39 yard line. There's a snap right up the middle. Significant gain of yardage, not enough to move the chains. Not even enough to get back into the chains, actually. Moves it up to the 42-yard line. Trojans now fourth and 12 to go. Under a minute and a half remain to play in the half. Lucas Cabrera back to punt. There's the snap. Punt is up. Deep to Sullivan. And he will let the ball roll dead. Comes to a stop around the uh, Comets 15 yard line. Comets first and 10 with 60 seconds left in the half. And I'm sure that the Trojans are going to do everything they can to force a turnover that deep into Comets territory. There's a snap. I'm going to toss it over to Sam Smith. Attempts to go to the right. Gains a few yards. Taken down by number nine, Lucas Cabrera. Comments now two and eight. Yeah. Two and seven. There's a snap, gonna try to head it up the middle. No gain of yards on that play. Sam Smith with that attempt and under 10 seconds remain in the half. We will end the half with the Comets leading six nothing. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors and a halftime break. You're watching Casting Comets Football on RTC TV4. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. 
Nutrient Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrientagsolutions.com to see how Nutrient can help you. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. Lunch at Wings Etc. means special prices on burgers, wings, wraps, and wreckers all week long. Now that's special. Whether I'm at work or on the go, I've always got one thing on my mind. And now I can order it all online. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all of your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Call them at 574-223-6429 or stop by the office located at 824 Main Street in beautiful Rochester, Indiana. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. 
We do a 40 point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Rochester Glass is your local service provider for all your glass needs. From auto glass to storefront glass, if you need a window repaired, replaced, or just want to get your car windows tinted, Rochester Glass has got you covered. Stop by Rochester Glass today. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car, get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we do have seven and a half minutes left in the halftime, and then we have a three-minute mandatory stretching session for the teams after they take the field again. So you have just about ten minutes. Go ahead and refill your beverage, grab whatever snacks you need for the second half, and we'll be back in just about ten minutes for second half fo cast and football action here on RTC TV4.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just under a minute remaining until we get this second half underway here at the Crater tonight. If you're just joining us, Comets took the lead in the first half with an incredible 90, 95 yard kickoff return, or excuse me, punt return uh, by a newcomer, uh, Damian Sullivan, who was honored tonight with it being senior night here at the Comet Crater. Comets uh, taking some excitement and energy into this second half, and of course the Trojans looking to get even. Well, that's not how the game works. They're looking to get ahead, but you guys know what I mean. And we'll start this second half with a Comets kickoff. Rock Wolf back for the kick. Sends it long and low. Picked up by number 22. That's Anthony Shue on the carry. There is a flag in the backfield. And Shue is down on the 30 yard line. And let's see what the flag is. Rock Wolf with that tackle. And the official calling a block to the back. That was against the Trojans. Ball will be spotted at the point of the penalty. And then giving up some yardage. Trojans now first and 10 on their own 10 yard line. It's a lot of football field to cover. Let's see how well they did accomplish this. There's a snap, ball up the middle. That is uh, number four, Hunter McIntyre stopped by number seven, Grant Hickel. Gain of about five yards. Trojans now second and five with the ball on their own 50, uh, 16 yard line. And there's a snap. Hand off up the middle. McIntyre stopped just about at the line of scrimmage again. Oh no, my eyes are playing tricks on me. That was a Trojans first down. Made it to about the 21 yard line. There's your snap. Again, hand it off to Shu. He'll pick up a couple yards on the carry. On the carry for the Trojans, stopped by, stopped by Sam Smith with an assist from Grant Hickel. Close to the yard on the play. Second down, Looks like a false start on the Trojans. They will give up five, repeat second down.
Trojans now second and 12 on their own 18 yard line. There's the snap. Now fake the handoff. And we've got a deep loss of yardage there. Ball in the hands of Lucas Cabrera. He'll give up about five more, it looks like. Sam Smith with that stop. Trojans now third and 16, 17. <laughs> Trojans needing a big couple of plays here to avoid having to punt. Quarterback drops back for the pass. Intended to number 80, Nate Amsden. Pass was just a little high, incomplete. Trojans now fourth and 17 on their own 14 yard line. And they will set Cabrera back for the punt. Punt is short. Coming to rest on the Trojans 30 yard line. Comments first and 10 on the Trojans 30. Starting the second half that way has to be a good boost to morale for the Comets. And just over three minutes gone in the quarter. Number seven, Grant Hickel in the quarterback position. And false start on the Comets. They'll give up five, repeat first down. Hickel with the pass, completed to Jesse Rock Wolf. And that will get the Comets a first down. Football at the 11. Forget first down territory. Let's just call this uh, first down and 11 to go. Flag on the play. And we're gonna have an illegal hold, it looks like. Called against the Trojans. Comets will take some free yardage for that one. First and goal for the Comets on the six yard line. There's her snap. Straight up the middle, it looks like. Let's see whose hand the football was in. I'm going to guess Sam Smith. Nope, Grant Hickel with the quarterback keeper. He'll gain a yard with that. Yeah. 
There's a snap. Another quarterback keeper. I'm not sure how close he got. They're, the officials are saying he did not get into the end zone. A yard short of it. But he did make it past the chains. His comments a first and goal on the one yard line. Comments now four tries to make it a yard. Seven seconds left on the play clock. There's a snap up the middle. They're shoving. And there's a Comets touchdown. Sam Smith making it into the end zone on that carry. Assist by the whole team shoving him through the defensive line. Josh Sullivan taking the play to the huddle. And the Comets lining up for two. In the hands of Sullivan, he spins. Was it enough to get over the line? Officials waving it off. Comets now 12 nothing lead with 7-10 left in the third. And this home crowd getting very excited here this evening. And the Trojans lining up 21-22. Amari Snyder and Anthony Shu deep in the backfield. Number 87, Jesse Rockwolf. Rock Wolf setting up the ball for his kick. There's the kick. It's up. Long and flat, a little bit of a flub on that pickup. Number 22, cutting to the left, across the field, breaks a couple tackles and goes down on the Trojans' 35-yard line. Rock Wolf and Brawl on that tackle. Seven minutes remain here in the third. Comets with a two touchdown advantage. There's a snap, we're gonna hand it off to Shu up the middle. Oh, scratch that. Even I got faked out. Hand it off to number four, Hunter McIntyre, who's going to take it up the left, and he will get a first down for the Trojans. Kane Shanelob with the stop. There's a 
There's a snap. Hand off, can go up the middle. McIntyre gets a break. Stopped by Grant Hickel, but he will not before he picks up another first down. That play gets the ball into Comets territory, sitting on the Comets 37 yard line. I'm not sure what was said on the sideline before that kickoff, but this is an invigorated Trojans team. Number 32, Trey Shue up the middle, picks up a few yards. Second and six now for the Trojans. There's a snap, we're gonna hand it to McIntyre. McIntyre taken down at about the line of scrimmage. It's like by number 20, Evan Howard. And 65, Kane Chainlob. Third and seven to go with football in the Comets 34 yard line. Gonna toss it to number 22. Breaks left. Oh, and that was a fumble. I think he was down by contact before he lost control of the football. I'm not sure. And we do have an injury on the field, it looks like. It was number 22, Anthony Shue with the carry. Tackled at the shoelace, or by the shoelaces. And we got the trainers out there working on him. Shoe being helped to his feet. Unable to put any weight on an ankle. Helped from the field. Officials calling Shoe down by contact before the football went loose. Fourth and six for the Trojans on the Comets 33 yard line. There's the snap and drop back for a pass. Comets with a deep tackle and pass is no good, no good. Comets will take control on their own 33 yard line. Four and a half minutes left in the third. Comets still with that two touchdown advantage. Snap, gonna toss it off to Sam Smith. Ooh, Smith in trouble behind the line of scrimmage. He's gonna go clear out to the right side before getting tackled at the line of scrimmage.
Comets now. Two and nine to go. Ball on their own 34 yard line. Sullivan in motion. Ball right up the middle. Gained a couple yards on that play. Sam Smith with that carry. Snap. Hickle drops back, throws a pass, and it's intercepted. Interception and at the Trojans' 35-yard line. 21, Omar Snyder with that interception. Just over three and a half minutes remaining in the th third now. There's a snap. Quarterback goes deep in the pocket and passes incomplete. Sullivan nearly gets that uh, gets the pick on that to return the favor. Second and 10 for the Trojans now. Ball still remains at their 35 yard line. There's a snap. We're gonna send it off to the left. That's McIntyre with a first down, Trojans. Breaks across the half field line. Half field, no, midfield line into Comets territory. Ball on the Comets, 48 yard line. Send it up the middle. That was Trey Shue. Gain of about seven on that play. Grant Hickle with that stop. Trojans second and three on the Comets 41 yard line. There's a snap, handoff to McIntyre. He's going to the left. Gets the first down. Stopped by the Comets before he could build a full head of steam. Ball now on the Comets. 20, 28 yard line. And we're gonna hand it back to McIntyre. He'll go left again. Stopped with a gain of about three. Ninety seconds to play in the third quarter.
Trojans with the snap. I'm going to hand it to look like Shu. Couldn't see the number. Excuse me, Trenton Conley on the carry. Stop short of the chains. Still moved it up to the 21 yard line. Trojans at third and two. Under a minute remains here in the third quarter. There's a snap. McIntyre into first down territory. Brought down outside of the 10 yard line. 43 seconds on the clock. Ball on the 12 yard line. There's a snap. Up the middle. Comets lost track of where that football was. Number 22, Anthony. 22? 32. 32, Trey Shue with that carry into the end zone. And with 21 seconds left in the quarter, Trojans got themselves on the scoreboard. And they'll line up to tack on the extra point. Kick is up. And it's good. Well, with 21 seconds left in the quarter, score is now 12 to 7. Caston still with the advantage. Cabrera with the ball in the tee. We've got the Sullivan brothers in the deep backfield. And let's see what the strategy is here. Solid kick, goes deep, good catch. Just a little bit of a bobble and Sullivan, Josh Sullivan is down on the Comets 24 yard line. 17 seconds left in the quarter. There's the snap. Hickle with quarterback keeper. Gains a couple of yards. And that will all but run out the third quarter here tonight. All right, going into the fourth. Comet still 12-7 lead over the Triton Trojans.
And the Comets will start the fourth on their own 24 yard line, second and eight. There's a snap and faked up the middle. Flea flicker taken down in the backfield. Rock Wolf was the recipient of the ball, taken down deep. And a little slow to get up. We're going to have an official's timeout here. Rock Wolf up and under his own power. It's very close to running the play clock out. Oh. And the Trojans with a sack. Comet's giving up a lot of yardage there. Fourth and 15, it looks like, on their own 20. And they will send Sam Smith back to punt. Punt goes out of bounds, out of bounds at the Comets' own 38-yard line. Uh, Hunter McIntyre, he's going with it. He's going and taken down inside the five-yard line. Sneaks around the right and just started building up. Nearly made it all the way. And the Comets caught a timeout after that one. Trojans first and goal on the Comets four yard line. And Mac. 
McIntyre taken down at the one yard line. Second and one to go. Gonna be a hard stop for the Comets here. There's a snap, and McIntyre taken down behind the line of scrimmage. He'll give up about three yards on that one. Third and goal from the Comets five. There's the snap. And McIntyre taken down short of the goal again. Looks like he made it up to about the two yard line. Grant Hickel with that tackle. And the official has uh, put the ball on the four. Fourth down, four to go. I can't imagine that they would set up for the punt here. They are going for it. And they made it across the line. Hard fought battle there, but Trey Shu made it across the line. Giving the Trojans the advantage for the first time this ball game. Eight and a half minutes remain to play. And the Comets scoreless in this half. Triton setting up for the extra point. Kick is up and looks to be good. So with eight and a half left to play tonight, the score is now Triton Trojans 14, Casting Comets 12. And Lucas Cabrera set to kick for the Trojans. Kick is up, sending it deep. And Sullivan will let it touch back. And the Comets will set up from the 20. Comet's going to send it up the middle. St 
stopped at the line of scrimmage, it looks like. No gain. Comets second and ten. We send uh, Sullivan into motion. He goes along the right side. Knocked out of bounds, but enough for uh, another Comet first down. No set up on their own 32. There's a snap. Smith up the middle. Taken down at about the 37-yard line. Sam Smith with five or six on that carry. Second and five to go according to the scoreboard. Gonna try to go up the middle. Looks like we're gonna get shoved back a little bit. Let's see where the football ended up. Five, Sam, Smith Sam Smith on that carry. Third down and five to go. Comets still with the football in their own territory. Working hard to get it across that 50 yard line. There's a snap, fakes a handoff. Hickle gets stuck with it, short pass to Sam Smith. Smith with a juke. He's gonna run along this home, home uh, field sideline. Get knocked out of bounds, but not before picking up a cast of comments first down. Six and a half minutes remain in this game. Comets working hard trying to pull out the victory tonight. There's a snap. I'm going to flick it off to Sullivan. Sullivan with an opening. And he picks up another Comets first down. Diminished though it is, this home crowd is getting excited. There's a snap again, hand it to Sam Smith, tried to send him straight up the middle. And the Trojans were waiting for that. Ends up running him laterally, taking him down after a gain of just a couple yards. Comments now, second and eight. Ball on the Trojans' 41-yard line. There's a snap, gonna flick it to Sullivan. He's gonna try to go left again. Taken down though, back at about the uh, back end chain. Shively with that tackle. Comments now, third and 11 to go. Ball on the Trojans, 43.
Hickel's going to keep the ball. He's just running with it. Oh, and taken down by his shoelaces. Got down to the 35. Comments now, fourth and three, four minutes remaining to play. Comments really just have to go for it. Evidently that's the consensus, because there's the snap. Hickel's gonna keep it again. Oh, he's in trouble. And he is sacked deep back at the 45 yard line. Tackled there by number 80, Nate Am Amsden. And the Comets will turn it over on downs at the Trojans 45 yard line. There's a snap, and hand it off to McIntyre. McIntyre breaking free, gets brought down just into Comets territory, about three yards shy of a first down. Ball on the 48 and a half yard line. Trojan's gonna snap. Looks like they're gonna hand it to McIntyre again. He uh, moves it up far enough to move those chains, going down at about the 44 yard line. Three minutes remain here tonight. Five seconds on the play clock. There's the snap. Gonna hand it to Shue. Trey Shue up the middle. Taken down with a gain of a yard or two. Sam Smith with that tackle credit. Second and nine for the Trojans. Ball on the Comets 43 yard line. Snap, gonna hand it to McIntyre. McIntyre goes up the middle. Gets rolled up at about the 40 yard line. Garrison Hickel and Kane Shanelob on that tackle. And the Comets will call a timeout. Under two minutes remain to play tonight. Triton Trojans with a two point advantage. And they have control of the football. Third and six to go on the Comets 41 yard line.
is a snap. We're going to fake the handoff. Quarterback breaks out on the left side, excuse me, the right side. Cole Shively with that QB keeper. Gain of uh, gain of a yard or two on that. Fourth and five to go. And they're gonna line up the punt. There's the snap. Punt is up. And a good catch. Sullivan's gonna run it. Gets run out of bounds. Just, just about the 32 yard line. Over a little over a minute and a half remains to play tonight. Comets first and ten on their own 31 yard line. Snap, Hickel gets stuck in the backfield and brought down with a loss of about seven yards. Nate Amston again, he's been the bane of Grant Hickel here in this fourth quarter. Comments now second with 18 to go. And we've got a timeout called. Right, exactly 90 seconds remain to play here tonight. Comment second down, 18 yards to go, ball on their own 23. There's a snap, got a short pass, it's completed. Flick to Sam Smith, and he gets driven out of bounds. Oh, flag on the play. He's driven out of the 35 yard line. We'll have to see what the, this flag is. And we've got a personal foul against the Trojans. Fifteen yard penalty. And that is a casting comments first down. Line of scrimmage moved up to the Trojans forty eight yard line. The snap. Hickle in the backfield. Pass to Brault is complete. Brault goes down at the thirty five yard line. That's good for another comments first down. 75 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. 
There's a snap. Hickel drops back. Sets up. Pass to number 19, Sullivan. Ow. And I had the camera in the wrong place. I'm sorry, folks. Sullivan does it white. Just short of a first down there. Second and inches to go. Oh, the officials have told the chain gang to move. Forty-five seconds to play. I think there was a mistake made putting some time back on the clock. Comments on the Trojans' 23-yard line. 49 seconds on the clock. There's a snap. And we have a timeout called by the Trojans. Trojans there calling that timeout, probably hoping to ice this Comets offense. For the Comets' sake, I hope that it wasn't effective. We'll find out. 46.6 seconds remaining in this ball game, two-point ball game. There's a snap. Hickel drops back. He's headed left. He's just going to go for it. Breaks through. have number 52, Ethan Amosquita, on the ground holding a leg. Injury timeout. Hickel didn't quite make it to first down territory, I don't think. It's like inches to go. Amosquita is up and walking on his own under his own power. Number 20, Evan Howard, back on the field. 34 seconds remain on the clock. Home crown fighting its feet. There's a snap. Hickle in trouble. Tries to go up the middle. Ooh, ooh, loose ball, loose ball. Covered up by the 87, Jesse Rockwolf. Timer running. Timer's still running. Slow to get up, though, down here.
Not sure what's going on here. Uh, Rock Wolf appears to be injured, uh, but the officials did allow the clock to expire. This home crowd is not happy about this. Still waiting to see what the end result of this is. And Rock Wolf is on his feet. That said, the final score tonight, unfortunately for the Comets, Trojans end up victorious 14 to 12. Please stay tuned, I am hoping that I can get uh, Coach Porter up here to join me on top of the press box. We'll talk about the good and the bad of what have happened here tonight. Thank you for watching Cast of Comments Football on RTC TV 4. Stay tuned after these messages. We'll, we will be right back. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. Nutrient Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrienagsolutions.com to see how Nutrient can help you. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth, or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. Lunch at Wings Etc. means special prices on burgers, wings, wraps, and wreckers all week long. Now that's special. Whether I'm at work or on the go, I've always got one thing on my mind. And now I can order it all online. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all of your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Call them at 574-223-6429 or stop by the office located at 824 Main Street in beautiful Rochester, Indiana. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe I am going to get that post-game interview. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Once again, uh, unfortunately, Comets fans, the, uh, the guys came up just a little short on that uh, very exciting final drive there in the fourth quarter. Final score tonight, once again, 14-4 in favor of the Triton Trojans. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, hope you join us tomorrow as Kasten uh, host their uh, cross-country invitational and with the strange days that we're living in uh, we are not able to have spectators on the grounds so we will be broadcasting that so i uh, hope you join us tomorrow for that uh, until next time though i'm blair zimmerman and you are watching casting comet sports on rtc tv4 mm -hmm.